Uh, hi, Senator. Thank you so much for taking our calls. Um, I have to admit that I was a Democrat until 2016, and I saw the light. Um, I just want to say uh, my niece goes to school in West Bend, and she's been telling us stories like that other students have been forcing them to have like litter box to accommodate students who identify as cats. I was wondering if you heard about this and if you've seen what Ron DeSantis has done in Florida with his parental bill of rights. Is that something that you could see happening like on the federal level? Is that something you support? Um, thank you so much for everything you do. Oh, first of all, Jeff, thank you for your support. And, and yes, I'm well aware of this. I mean, I think one of the things that COVID did is, is uh, parents were looking over their their kids' shoulders, and they became aware of the indoctrination of our children by radical leftists within our education system. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. I, I just heard on a, a radio talk show how England, for example, has come out, their National Health Service has come out completely different, different uh, recommendation in terms of transgenderism, saying that this is, this is a phase for children. You know, don't accommodate the phase. Let's you know, work with them through it. Don't, don't be putting gender dr blocking drugs in our children and certainly don't mess them with the sex change operations to minors. I mean, this is sick what's happening. But yeah, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that we've got uh, some teachers that are, you know, they're actually, they're pushing this stuff on our kids. I mean, kids are kids. I mean, they, they think weird things, you know, they go through phases. We, any parent knows that.